Hello friends. Today we are going to learn the meaning of Six Sigma. What do you mean exactly? Many of the people they talk about my processes that what Sigma level is performing that we are going to learn today. So as you can see, I have plotted a normal probability plot here on my screen where I have a specification limit which is on the lower side is 8 on the upper side is 12 where my average value is lying in between the center of that which means average is 10. Suppose these are the number of minutes you are taking to complete a transaction or maybe process an invoice. So as we understand uh, you will not take less than 8 minutes to process any of the invoice and you should not take more than 12 minutes as well to process any invoice. So based on the variation what we have we wanted to calculate the sigma level of this process. So what is sigma level? Sigma level is the z value which is the minimum of your USL which means upper specification limit in our case is 12 minus mean which is the R case is 10 divided by the standard deviation of the process while on the lower side this will be mean minus lower specification limit mean value is 10 lower specification limit is 8 divided by the standard deviation so whichever the value will be minimum that will be your sigma level of the process I will explain you in my next session how to calculate the area under the curve but in today's session we are just going to understand this calculation all right so you can see my data is ranging here from starting from four minutes to up to 16 minutes so let's generate the same data exactly in the same into some excel so let's understand what is the meaning of six sigma this is the fundamental definition of six sigma capability refers to the process where the center of the process which means the mean value this mean value is away from the nearest specification by six standard deviation. So nearest specification may be on the lower side of a specification or the upper side of a specification. So the difference from the mean to the specification, either the lower or upper, whatever the value will come and that you divide by the current standard deviation. If that ratio comes as in six, that means it's a six sigma process. If ratio comes as in four, then it's a four sigma process. Let's see how practically we are going to explain this. So here is my Excel sheet where based on the same, I am going to generate some data. Let's generate some data. Maybe this is my data. Here is random. Uh, starting from four, I'm going to generate up to 16 and 100 data points suppose i want to generate so here is my 100 data points perfect let's just copy as a value because i don't want to continue the changes in the formula now i have these 100 data points so what i need to calculate i need the specification and the standard deviation so suppose my specification limit same as per the presentation let's take the upper specification limit is 16 sorry 12 lower specification limit remains 8 and now what i need uh, other than this i need the standard deviation and the average value so a standard deviation of my data is equal to std and i just put the formula in excel i will get my standard deviation which is 3.88 now the mean value, I'll just put a formula is equal to average A, B, E and I will get the mean value of my data. I hope you are with me till now. In case anyone of you have any question, please post in the comment. I will read and I will answer that or I will create another video on that. So now I have the standard deviation, I have the mean value, I have the specification limits. So what else need? I need to calculate Z, which is this a sigma level on the upper side of a specification and the Z value on the lower side of a specification. So whichever the value is minimum, that will be sigma level. You have seen in the presentation that formula for the Z USL will be your USL value minus mean value divided by a standard deviation and the formula for the ZLSL will be mean minus LSL 
divided by the standard deviation. If I put this value in this formula on the upper side of specification, then my upper specification limit is 12 minus average value is coming as a 9.88 divided by standard deviation, which is 3.88. So on the upper side of a specification, my sigma value is 0.5463. Now let's see how much is the lower side. So lower side sigma level will be your mean value, which is 9.88 minus lower specification, which is eight divided by standard deviation, which means 3.88. So on the lower side is 0.48. So whichever the value is lower, that will become my sigma level. Why? Because many a time you have the both the side specification. So we need to see how much far is my average value is coming from the target center. So in this case, my value lower is 0.48, which means there is a high probability of defect on the lower side of specification compared to the probability of defect will be low on the upper side of a specification. So whichever the value is lower, that side I have the probability of defect high. If the value is high, then the probability of defect is low. That's all for this session. Thank you so much.